Hello, I'm Kevin Smet, and I'm a student at Learning Alias, and this is going to be a power video concerning curves on surface. So I have a hood feature line here, and it is a very important curve here is the key curve, which will define the feature line. It's important that the curvature characteristic is very smooth, and in my case, I also want to make it planar. So you can see it's not quite planar yet. So let's first fix that really quick. So we'll move this like that. Now, I'm going to make it completely planar, but you can make it arced as long as that arc is nice and clean and consistent, which it is on the A5 series production car. But I'm going to make it planar for now. And what I want to do is align it. So pretty easy along one of the sides, that, which is this one, I can pick the curve and curvature and I have a little sliver surf here uh, that I've used, I can align it to that. That was part of my construction, that's easy. However, this end of the curve is lying on the surface somewhere, so we need to align it some way. And a good way to do that is by creating a curve on surface. So the way I will create this curve on surface is a three-point plane. I will control alt snap on the curve to one of its ends, control alt snap in the middle somewhere, and then control alt snap at the end. This will give us a plane right here, and I can use the intersect command, pick my surface, and pick the plane. And what this will give us is a curve on surface. Now, this curve on surface has one issue with it that I do not like. The issue is that the curve on surface is going from one boundary all the way across to another boundary. And what this will do is it will create a valid trim region. You can see these two little green pluses. So if we were to trim this, it would trim. Now, a curve on surface, that, for our purposes, this curve on surface shouldn't create a trim region. It is only used for our purposes to align this curve to. And so it stays nice and curvature continuous to the surface. And the way that we can fix that is by detaching the curve or negative extending the curve on surface. So the way we can fix that is by detaching the curve on surface, but we get, an, we get a confirmation box. An active item has construction history. If you continue, history will be removed. Do not click yes, because if you click yes, it's very mischievous. The primary reason that I'm making this power video, I'll click no now, is if you were to click yes, this curve on surface would have lost its history. You would expect that. But if I query edit this surface, you would have also lost the alignment here. And if I query edit this end of the surface, I would have also lost the alignment here. So this little surface acts like a bridge and it is aligned to uh, the hood blend and the fender and it actually serves a very important purpose I do not want to delete all of the history if you are to use detach it will delete all the history on the surface now is there a way to fix this well of course there is we are working an alias here there are multiple ways to roam and one of them is extend with extrapolate merge on we can click on one of the ends that we want to extend, and it will give us a dialog, but this one's different, so read it. An active curve on surface has construction history. If you continue, history will be removed. Well, okay, that's okay. This means that the only history that will be removed is the history on the curve on surface. You can see, because the curve on surface has now turned blue, but the rest of the surface patch is still green, which means it still has construction history some way. That's what we want. So, we're going to negative extend it, but we can't drag it any further. What's going on? Well, it will only extend up to the next knot. So if I pull it back a little bit, you can see the knots. They're basically edit points. That's pretty much all a curve on surface has that you can manipulate in alias. So this is an edit point, this is an edit point, and then here at the end. Now, if you do not see these edit points, you can select the curve on surface, go to Object Display Control, and with scope set to active, make sure that well, you could make everything turned on, but at the very least, edit points needs to be turned on, and then hit go. If it is turned off, you will notice that we don't see anything. 
which means we also can't manipulate anything. It's a little funny, if you select curves on surface, the control panel is grayed out, so you can't tick it on or off over there, so you have to use this display mode dialog to do it. However, once we see them, we can simply pick an edit point, let's say this one, and just delete it. That way we have one knot left, extend this one, and move it back a little bit further. So something like that, I think, is pretty legible without being, uh, it's not even remotely um, having a trim region. In fact, if I try to trim it now, you can see I, have, I still have a little green plus at one boundary, but the other boundary is red. So this would not be an active trim region, which is exactly what we want. So now we can pick the Align tool, and we can align this curvature. Now, do understand the history with the construction plane has been lost, which means I can select it and delete it. But it's more intelligent than you would think, this curve on surface. Because the curve on surface is defined in parameter space, this means that it will never hook up. It will never detach itself. So the edit point right here that's on the boundary will always stay on the boundary. It will not start floating around inside the surface. It won't start tearing apart from the surface. So this curve on surface is more intelligent than you would think. Uh, case in point, let's say I tweak this surface, or gee, let's pick this one. And let's say I make one of these CVs and I want to adjust it a little bit. So I NUV it up and see what happens? It just nicely follows along. Follows along for the ride. And because of that construction history, our key curve updates and it will always stay curvature continuous. So that's basically what it's all about. This has been a power video about curves on surface, the dangers of using detach, how extend works really, really well, and also object display control window to see the curves on surface and then you can just pick the edit points on the curve on surface delete them at your leisure you have full freedom to do so so this has been about detach I have been Kevin DeSmet and see you next time